Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Ford Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Ammons. And I'm Jordan Amsbacher, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The graduation rate is at an all-time high. At 94.5%, St. Mary's County has the third highest graduation rate in the state. Alex Jeffers, assessment and accountability officer, said, we're definitely trending in the right direction. The percentage of students who have graduated has increased from 83.7% in 2011 to a staggering 94.5% for the 2018 school year. Every day, St. Mary's County Sheriff's deputies serve as school resource officers, making themselves available to thousands of students in their care. They are well aware that there is rarely a small problem when it comes to the mind of a teenager. A single conversation doesn't always fix the issue. Corporal Angela Delosier, the resource officer at Leonardtown High School said, you always have to follow up. That's what builds these strong connections. Relationships is what this is all about. Deputy First Class Blaine Gaskill, the resource officer at Great Mills High School stated, I've been involved in mediation between a boyfriend and a girlfriend that are mad at each other. A week later, they are in love again. There are new bills underway that could make eligible students able to register to vote at their high school. House Bill 423 will allow students and teachers at public and private high schools who are eligible to register to vote. Each school would designate staff members to distribute and collect voter registration materials. They would then be given to the appropriate state election official within five days of receiving them. After a 10-year hiatus, the St. Mary's College of Maryland Slackwater Journal series is making a comeback. Reaching deep into a rich archive of more than 500 interviews that date back to the 1980s, the seventh volume of the publication entitled Food Watts of Southern Maryland will focus on regional delicacies, their cultural significance, and the memories of those who harvested, prepared, and enjoyed them. Slackwater Journals has explored themes and issues that have shaped St. Mary's County, ranging from the rise of Lexington Park to life on St. George's Island to the displacement of farmers at Cedar Point to make way for Naval Air Station Patuxent River. After being unable to field a team last year, the College of Southern Maryland's men lacrosse team is together and ready to compete at the club level. Head coach Steve Campbell expressed his excitement to have the opportunity to field a team and compete, no matter what level they're at. Campbell has been in the coaching ranks for various teams at different levels in Southern Maryland for the past decade. 